Let's determine the molar mass for acetaminophen. This is also called paracetamol. So if we look at the structure of acetaminophen here, we can see that we have carbons here and then here, and then we'd have hydrogens on some of these carbons here. And if you counted up all of the hydrogens, oxygens, nitrogens, and carbons, you'd end up with the molecular formula for acetaminophen of C8H9NO2. So we use this to figure out the molar mass for acetaminophen. So we go to the periodic table, we find carbon right here, 12.01. The units for that, grams per mole. I'm not gonna write grams per mole each time though. Eight carbon atoms, plus for hydrogen, we have 1.01. .01. So 1.01 .01 grams per mole, and we have nine hydrogen atoms. Nitrogen, we have just the one nitrogen, and nitrogen is 14.01 .01 grams per mole. So we'll multiply that by one. And then oxygen, 16.00 grams per mole. And we have the two oxygen atoms. So what we need to do is we need to multiply these numbers together here and then add all of those numbers up. And when we do that, we get 151.18 and the units grams per mole. What that means is if we have one mole of acetaminophen, it would have a mass of 151.18 grams. Note in my periodic table, it rounds to two decimal places. If your periodic table is different, you might get a slightly different answer here. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for C8H9NO2, acetaminophen, also called paracetamol. Thanks for watching.